Imagine if we could detect the earliest signs of Parkinson's disease years, even decades before the first tremor or memory lapse. Well, recent research has uncovered a surprising twist in the story of Parkinson's disease. Our own immune system may be quietly at work in the brain, setting the stage for neurodegeneration before anyone notices a thing. You see, the immune system has a special task force called T-cells, which are usually our body's defense against viruses and other harmful invaders. But it turns out that in some cases, these very T-cells may be involved in the development of neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's. You may be thinking, why would our immune system attack our own healthy brain cells? Well, that's a great question and scientists are still working hard to understand all the details. But here's what we know so far. T-cells normally help to protect the body from harmful substances by identifying and getting rid of them. However, in some cases, these T-cells may become overactive and start attacking healthy cells by mistake. The immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissues, leading to inflammation and cell death. Now, in Parkinson's disease, scientists have found that these rogue T-cells may target specific proteins in the brain called alpha-synuclein and pink-1. These proteins are found on the surface of brain cells, and when they're attacked by T-cells, it can lead to inflammation and cell death. But this process is slow and silent, and it can happen years, even decades, before the first symptoms of Parkinson's appear. That's why it's so important for researchers to find ways to detect these harmful T-cells early on. In a recent study, scientists used a highly sensitive technique to analyze blood samples from people who were at high risk for Parkinson's disease. By measuring the activity of these T-cells, researchers were able to identify those who were most at risk of developing Parkinson's and they found that the T-cell activity was at its peak during the so-called prodromal period, the years before a person is diagnosed with Parkinson's. This discovery is a major step forward. Of course, there's still a lot of work to do. Scientists need to figure out whether these T-cells are the root cause of Parkinson's or simply a response to the disease. They also need to develop reliable tests to measure T-cell activity in a routine clinical setting. But one thing is clear, the immune system plays a much more complex role in Parkinson's disease than we ever imagined. And by understanding that role, we may one day be able to intervene early and change the course of this devastating disease. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more new discoveries in science and medicine.